Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, Grace. So for today, we will be doing a handbag review, the pros and cons, and some mod shots, and if I recommend this purse. This is the Gigi Marmont Matalise in original canvas. But before we proceed, if you guys can please subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of my videos. currently have the Marmont Matalise in original canvas. It's still beautiful. I love this. I think I have this for about 10 months now. I'm not sure. I think I got this last April of 2019. I'm not 100% sure but I have this for less than a year now. So this is it. It's still in good condition. I use this pretty much every week. This is my go-to handbag. I love this so much. So let's talk about the cons of this purse. The cons are the first one, the very important one that I notice is that the collar. So you see the canvas is very sensitive. I think that's the right word. So whenever you wear anything that's dark, like dark jeans or just jeans in general, this material, the canvas, will pick up that color right away. It will transfer here. And I didn't even notice that right away. So one time I went out and I wore black jeans or dark jeans and I used this purse. I didn't know so I probably noticed after like five times of wearing dark jeans and using this and I finally look at my bag and I saw the color this part the back side was already dark <laughs> I started freaking out I was really worried because you know you pay for an expensive bag and it's already you know the color already transferred so I went ahead and call a collar, sorry. I went ahead and cleaned my purse using the water wipes, you know, the baby wipes, water wipes. So I used that and I wasn't really sure what should I do. Um, so I used a little bit of that and then after I got a wet um, paper towel, I just used water and I rub it off really lightly and very, very gentle. I let it dry and then I saw there's still more left so I did it again and then it finally it was gone so it went away so as you can see you don't see any more um, color transfer from the dark jeans so now I don't wear dark jeans whenever I wanted to use this handbag so never again so that's the main issue with this uh, material so you have to be very careful who you invested your money and of course you wanted to take care of this uh, bag and then the second one the number two cons is you can see the shape of this it's kind of squished here and so when I wear it like this right you wear your I don't know let's for example like that it's being squished there it's because this bag is not full so sometimes some days I only need my wallet my keys my phone my sanitizers when I'm out and about and it's not full enough so the shape started to do that so I noticed that when you use this insider you put a lot of things inside so it will keep its shape or also if you go on Amazon you can get this um, purse inserts for your camera bag that will keep the shape so I also I plan to buy one and then I'll let you guys know so I'm gonna do that I don't really bring a lot of things and I like to use this but the shape I'm worried that it will stay like that for quite some time so I think the inserts the purse inserts will help so that's the second con of this purse. 
So the third one is I don't think it's an issue, but sometimes like when I open it, I struggle. Like you know, it's very smooth though. Okay, it's it's very smooth to um to open this or not. But then like I said, when it's not full enough it is hard to zip in and zip it so you kind of have to hold here there to open it and close so i guess that's it doesn't really bother me but i just wanted to bring that up um that if your purse is not very full you might have a little bit of a struggle to unzip or zip your camera bag other than that i don't really see any other things issues so far that i have this for less than a year aside from the color transfer that's the main issue that i have that i learned a lot and i'm never gonna use dark jeans with this one and then the second one the shape so you have to be very careful you need to like you know put a lot of things to keep the shape or the insert and then the third one is you know the zipping it's very smooth though but you you have to hold to give a little bit of um assistance here <laughs> holding from here to open it because it's there's nothing inside right now so it's completely empty so those are the main three things that i notice from using this one so we'll go ahead with the pose of this purse so number one the first one that i think it's really nice and really important that from the outside you don't think that this is spacious mind you this bag is very spacious uh, i did a video of what fits inside my gg marmot mattel say the link's gonna be below so you guys can see that it's pretty spacious so you can put a lot of stuff here and it's also good that you put a lot of stuff inside your purse because it keeps its shape and it's easier to zip and unzip. My previous video, I show how much stuff can fit inside. So keys, wallets, sunglasses, hand sanitizers, all these, they all fit in here. So that's the main thing that what I love about this ham crossbody bag. The second one, the cool thing about this, it has the handle you can adjust it so depending on your height if you're on the taller side you can you know adjust it to this level and if you're on the shorter side then you move it to here so i'm only i'm 5'2 um so for reference i use the very end i'm gonna show you guys in a bit i'll show you some videos and pictures of my um, handbag how it looks like on me how it sits on my hip all these things so so that's the second one the strap is adjustable the second one is oh the third one the third one what i like about this is it's lightweight okay i think it's lightweight because it's the strap is not fully chain so i'm pretty sure if the whole strap is made of chain it's gonna be heavy but since there's a leather part and then chain it's super cute i love this style so much um, it's not very heavy it's very it's actually light and you know when you put all your things what you needed for a day or whatever you wanted to put inside for me in my experience having um just my wallet, my keys, my phone, uh, lipstick, and sunglasses, hand sanitizer. It's not heavy at all. It doesn't really bother me here in my shoulder. So, so far, those are the three main things that I notice that's good with this purse. And also the price, like I mentioned earlier, it is expensive. But that's why you need to be very careful with the canvas. But however... For the price point and I think it's pretty good um, the price is really good for a camera bag and for a Gucci so that's also one main thing because you can get other camera bags that are more than a thousand bucks but this is below a hundred 
100 it is below a thousand dollars so it's good um i like that i like anything that's below a thousand dollars or more below five hundred dollars so um yeah so those are the four main things that i like about this handbag is the first one it's spacious you can put a lot of things the second one is the adjusted straps the third one is that it's lightweight since it's not made of um chain all the way around it is very lightweight the fourth one is the price point is very good for a camera bag it is less than a thousand dollars it's a great investment especially if you're just starting into the luxury designer handbags world so this is a great investment for someone that's just starting so it's very very nice and then I will show you guys like how it looks like on me and uh, for reference to talk about if you guys think I recommend this handbag so for me in my experience I highly recommend this product it's because first thing is that the price is good and it's very spacious um, you can put a lot of things here and then it's very lightweight so pretty much all the pros that I discussed um, these are the things that that are very important to me and that's why I highly recommend this this is my on-the-go bag this is my go-to bag whenever I need to go grocery shopping or do a quick errand I always grab this bag because it's very convenient and so I highly recommend this and there are other materials for this size this is the small um, but they're more uh, they're a little bit pricey or not pricey they're uh, two a couple dollars more um, for a different material but this one I like this a lot because I have already the the calf skin the love skin um, handbags and I wanted to get something in original canvas because it's super unique and super nice the only thing though is like I said the transfer you just have to be very careful with that but other than that as long as you're careful with it like not getting the color in your beautiful bag you're pretty good so yeah i recommend this 100 percent this bag so grab yours now i hope you guys like this video i hope that this video is helpful and if you guys have any questions just please comment down below and i'll be happy to answer all of them Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!